Reflecting on Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, The Eight Limb Path to Liberation. Focusing to, in this moment on Aparigraha, freedom from greed. Referring to Donna Farhi's perspective on this freedom as letting go of all our embodied images and identities as a sure way to realize the open nature of the mind. I'm going to read that again. Letting go of all our embodied images and identities as a sure way to realize the open nature of the mind. Motherhood and parenthood involves letting go of all the images and identities we had previously lived by. Our gaze shifts as our children are in us and walk next to us. Our bodies shift as we create new life. And other things in our life shift in time of pregnancy and parenthood and motherhood. Allowing ourselves to let go of the ideas we had about ourselves before pregnancy will open us up to understanding this new normal with greater ease. Aparigraha. We are free from the greed of the old ways. We become more free to explore this new life for us as a parent or mother and the growing family and all the energies that support who you are. Bringing your attention to your breath, feeling the inhale and the exhale. The gaze can be slightly opened or maybe closed. Feeling the body expand with the inhale, the rib cage widen. And the exhales, the body softens and releases, letting go. Now, in your mind's eye with your inhale, breathe in, I am, and breathe out right where I need to be. Inhale, I am, exhale right where I need to be. So the exhale may be slightly longer than the inhale, allowing that to happen. Allowing the exhale to be long. I am right where I need to be. Keeping your breath long and your mind focused on right where you need to be. Listen to the words that are expressed and opening the eyes when needed, but keeping the gaze shifted low or even turn inward when possible. Bring the right hand underneath the right sit bone, rocking back and forth on the right sit bone. And then removing that hand, placing it on your lap and gliding the left hand underneath the left sit bone, rocking it back and forth. And then removing that and bringing the hands onto the lap, feeling your sit bones on the earth below you. And then bringing one hand in front to the pubis bones, one hand in the back to the tailbone, so right above the urethra and right at the anus area. And then bringing your hands back to your lap. So touching the four points as if your body had points of the pelvic floor. Keeping your weight centered in between the sit bones, that this great area of support is here for you. And we can, when we become more in tune with it and aware of it, we create more stability, more comfort in understanding who we are and who we are becoming. As you breathe in, Notice how the chest and the belly soften and even the pelvic floor widens and expands. And then with the exhale, feel the pelvic floor draw in and up 
and the navel draw in and up towards the heart at the bottom of the exhale. So abdomen hug around baby. The inhale, there's a gentle softening and releasing around baby and a re releasing with control of the pelvic floor. And then with the exhale, once again, the pelvic floor draws in and up, navel towards the heart, wrapping the abs around baby towards the midline and the inhale releases and softens and lets go. And just doing that a few more times at the pace of your breath. So the exhale is if you're picking up a silk handkerchief off the floor and drawing it up all the way to the collarbones. And then the inhale slowly floats the silk handkerchief back to the floor, opening and widening and floating onto the earth. And if you've been sitting with your legs crossed, maybe extend the legs out, windshield wiper the feet. You can bring your hands behind you for leverage too. Just shake them out back and forth. And then recross in the opposite direction. Bringing the hands onto the knees or shins. Hang on to your legs. Use them as leverage as you come into some expansive body circles. So sweeping the rib cage over to one side and hovering over the feet and back around to the other side and leaning back behind you. So your spine is like a cooked noodle and you're going to welcome a low mm sound with the exhale. So each exhale with a mm, feeling the weight of your body supported by the earth. Mm, And then begin to shift in the opposite direction. Mm. And extending your exhale as long as it feels useful and beneficial. So lengthening the exhale a little bit longer than the inhale. Mm. doing one more circle wherever you're at and finishing up your circle so that the spine is long and the crown of the head is to the sky and returning to your natural breath, breathing in deeply, exhaling completely. Creating peace fingers with your hands. First two fingers are pointed out like antennas and plug the first two fingers into the earth the arms are pretty straight. The shoulder blades are melting away from the ears. Draw the right ear to the right shoulder, breathing into the left side of the neck. Inhale back to center and exhale, left ear to left shoulder, breathing into the right side of the neck this time. Inhaling back to center. Now bringing the chin down towards the heart, lengthening through the back of the neck. The spine is long. And then drawing the chin up towards the sky, still lengthening through the back of the neck, not to scrunch the cervical spine, but drawing the chin up. And then returning back to center. Envision a circular clock in front of you and the nose is in the center of the clock. Very slowly, bring your nose up to 12 o'clock and then rotate over to three o'clock, all the way down to six o'clock at the exhale. Inhale, we'll start to go to three o'clock and all the way up to 12 o'clock, and then back to nine o'clock as you exhale, and six o'clock, inhaling over to three o'clock and seeing if you can start to hit the numbers in between. So this is really slow, feeling the sides of the neck as you rotate around the back and the corners of your neck as if your neck were to have corners. Keep circling in this direction. Maybe the gaze grows heavy or the eyes even close. Arms are strong, peace fingers into the earth. And then begin to circle in the opposite direction when you complete the one that you're on. Taking your time in this direction. 
the inhale will draw the nose and the chin up and the exhale will support the nose and chin going back down towards the heart. Finish the circle that you're on, returning your head to neutral, bringing your hands back into your lap. Few breaths here, soaking in this work at a cellular level, an energetic level. Gently blinking the eyes open, rolling the knees over to one side of your mat, rolling over onto your hands and knees, lifting up into tabletop pose. Knees can be as wide as the hips are wider, wrists are as wide as the shoulders are wider, and the weight is forward into the balls of the hands, especially between the index finger and thumbs. Toes can tuck or untuck and returning your attention back to the pelvic floor. So we wanna keep baby drawn in and up ever so slightly in table pose and focusing on the shifting of the pelvis with the muscles. So as the inhale starts, the pelvic floor softens and widens, the sit bones lift and the gaze slightly goes forward. And the exhale begins, the pelvic floor draws in and up, navel to the heart, rounding like a rainbow. And then the inhale begins again, sit bones widen, the collarbones broaden, and the gaze is forward. And the exhale slowly rounds the spine, hugging baby in towards the heart, really rounding. And one more time in the opposite direction. Sit bones widen and lengthen, tailbone lifts. And the exhale, pressing down into the palms, navel towards the heart and the head can release and return back to table. Scooch the left knee in towards the right just a hair, and then exhale, step the right leg back behind you, tucking the toes under. Press out through the right heel. Feel a stretch in the back of the right calf area, and maybe you rock back and forth a couple times to feel some energy and movement or igni igni some ignite in the muscles and then coming into stillness if you're moving. So pressing out through the heel, hips are square, full deep breaths. Hopefully feeling some kind of stretch in the back of the calf. And then from here, slowly glide the right leg all the way over to the outside of the mat, planting the sole of the foot on the floor. So the foot and the left knee are on the same line. Plant the left hand below the shoulder if it's not there already. And then inhale, sweep the right arm up to the sky. And as if your fingertips are paintbrushes, sweep the hand all the way around you. You may even underneath the left arm getting a twist and just rotating back and forth at the pace of your breath. Fingertips are painting a half moon shape around you. Four corners of the right foot are rooting down into the earth. And one more time. Exhaling into a twist and then planting the hand back to the earth and exhale the right knee to the mat so you're back into table pose. Swish the hips from side to side. Coming on to the other side. So scooching the right knee in towards the left just a hair, extend the left leg back behind you, tuck the toes under and then rocking back and forth. Really focusing on being on the ball, the big toe, and then coming into stillness, press out through the heel. Feel stretch in the back of the left calf area. And then slowly glide the left foot all the way over to the left side of the mat. Plant the foot on the floor in the same line as the right knee. And then plant the right hand below the right shoulder, sweeping the left arm up to the sky and then sweeping it back down, wrapping it around you. Paintbrush fingertips. Painting a big half moon, circling around you, encompassing you in this new phase of life.
And last time. And then planting the hand on the earth, exhale, step the left knee back through tabletop, swish the hips from side to side. Staying in tabletop, tuck the toes under and keep the knees fairly bent as we explore this downward facing dog. So knees stay wide, exhale, lift the hips up to the sky and you're going to kind of straighten the legs but not fully straighten. Feel the heaviness of the heels towards the earth and maybe even walking your feet further back from you. And then the inhale, you're going to bend your knees so feet are as wide as the mat or even off the mat, wide, so baby can come between your thighs. So move your feet as is useful. Try to keep your hands where they were. So you're bending with the inhale and then getting some length in the back of the knees um, with the exhale. So the inhale will bend, space between the sit bones widen, and the exhale lengthens a little bit. And doing one more time. And then the next time you bend the knees, lower the knees back onto the earth, preparing for a supported um, child's pose. So glide the bolster underneath the chest and head so baby is not touching the bolster and walk the knees really wide, big toes draw together. They might touch, they might not, and the hips sit back to the heels and the chest and the head come onto the bolster. Hands can rest at your sides, you can turn your head to the side to rest the cheek and the ear and let yourself release here. Release the space at the perineum, release the space of the jaw, of the fingertips. Feel the earth support you. And if you have your head in one direction, turning it in the opposite direction, if that's useful for your neck, otherwise stay right where you are. Slowly walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Exhale, press down to come back up. Slide the bolster off of your mat. Walk the knees over to one side, rolling onto that hip and swinging the legs out in front of you, bringing the soles of the feet together or crisscross, your choice. Bringing one hand to baby and one hand to your heart. Feeling your breath, honoring the space and time for you as you let go of the things and ideas that you thought you were, that they are always with you of who you are, but you're opening yourself up to new ideas of you as a parent, as a birther, as a human. You are not confined to a certain space or time. We are always evolving, and especially at this transitional stage. You are right where you need to be. Feel free to stay here for a few more moments, soaking in this great work. <laughs> 